emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper making a corrected copy to a video I posted yesterday. I got some great comments on that video, and it just it had too many errors in it, and I wasn't happy with it. So I decided to delete it, do some more editing, and repost it. So that's what this video is here. Uh, the thesis of this video is having a mobile antenna mount on your vehicle. A permanent mount uh, will greatly improve your communications or radio's performance. Those little rubber antennas have a lot of loss, but having a fixed antenna mount on your vehicle can greatly improve your radio communications. Now I started this video off yesterday using GMRS as a theme, but since I can't test that here where I'm at, I deleted that portion out of the video and I included a website here and I'm going to have a link down below where you can actually type in the frequency you want to operate at and pick the type of antenna you want quarter wave, five-eighths wave, whatever you want to have in your vehicle, you can plug it into this website and it'll give you the length of the antenna in inches so you can actually cut your own whip antennas. So this isn't going to be radio service specific for this video. Uh, this is just going to focus on putting the antenna mount in and then you can drop whatever antenna you want on that mount. Uh, the NMO mount is pretty much universal for radio communications and vehicles. So we're going to show you how I put the mount in the vehicle and the mistakes I made and then you can go back to this website and plug the frequencies in you're operating on and have a license for and it'll tell you how to how long that antenna has to be and where you have to cut that antenna. So we'll pick up with this video where I left off yesterday with some minor edits. What you're going to need for this project is a three quarter inch hole saw for drilling in metal, an NMO antenna kit. And you can get both these items on eBay and I got some pictures here. You're going to need a good hole saw. Uh, the one I use has a little lip so it controls the depth of the drill bit. So as I'm drilling down I don't punch a hole through the headliner. And it's typically just a little bit deeper than the thickness of the sheet metal of a typical car. Uh, the NMO antenna will screw over the NMO mount and that will weatherproof the brass and protect it from the elements. Uh, first warning, uh, after you're done drilling, make sure you have a way of cleaning up the little pieces of metal that will come loose, the little filing pieces. Uh, one, because they're sharp, and two, if they get wet, they'll leave little tiny red rust marks on your roof. Now, in my case, I have a red roof, so I'm not too worried about it, but if you have a white car and it rains on you or it's humid, you want to have a plan to get that metal filing stuff off your roof quickly as soon as you make this hole. Uh, the second warning is as you route the cable down from the roof to the dashboard, you're going to come down along the windows, you're going to want to be very careful when you feed that cable down so you don't damage or obstruct your side curtain airbags. In older cars this wasn't a problem, but today almost every car has these airbags going down along the windows, so you want to be very careful when you bring that coax down and take the molding off that you don't damage or obstruct those airbags. And if you're not sure, take your car to the dealer and they can help you route that cable down so you don't have any airbag problems. It's rained on and off all day today. So I had a break in the weather, wiped off the top of the car. One of the comms prepper helpers helped me get the center marked and got ready to drill. And that's what happened. When I stepped up on the little step stool, shoes were wet and I slipped and the drill bit popped out of the hole and gouged the sides of the hole pretty good to the point that even with this antenna installed it will not be weatherproof as designed by the factory. I'm going to have to go back in and fill up the gaps with silicone. But if you don't slip you won't have this problem. But I slipped so I buggered up the hole and now I'm going to have to live with it. But I had to press on for the video and the project. I have an old antenna that I use as a fish and what I did is I pulled the molding down around the door jam, gently pulled down the headliner so I could slip the antenna up above the headliner and I worked the antenna towards the hole and I pulled the antenna out the hole and I get a little electrical tape and I taped it around the coax and gently pulled the coax back to the NMO mount got to the hole and I you cock it on an angle and it'll pop down into the hole. Uh, if you don't have a headliner, you can't push this connector up from the bottom. 
because the center part of the NMO connector is larger than three fourths, so it won't fit up. This is the only way to get this in there. You gotta cock it at an angle and pop it down in the hole. Then you put the retaining nut on, and on the bottom side of that is an O-ring, and if you don't bugger up your hole like I did, that'll make a perfect weatherproof seal. So that's the mount, and there we go. I put the antenna on it. Whip here is a quarter wave, two meter antenna for the amateur radio service, and there's a little closer view. And then I fed the coax down along the door jam, being very careful around my airbag. Got down here to the glove box, got everything buttoned up, fished the coax back up into the, the glove box. There it is there. And I terminated it with a BNC connector to connect to the top of my ocean radio. And there you have it. Where you can have an external antenna, I could hook that connector right up to that radio. So this just gives you an idea how you can improve your communications uh, with a simple antenna mount, provided you don't slip and mess the hole up. It's going to perform far better than having just a rubber antenna or even these little magnetic mount antennas that you slap on the roof. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a video on installing an NMO mount in a bug out vehicle.